Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going over meal prepping. Meal prepping is simply the act of preparing your meals ahead of time. We've broken it down into five simple steps for you. Plan, develop, schedule, shop, and prep. We'll go over these five steps in more depth, but as long as you are staying consistent and following along with our five step plan, meal prepping is sure to be a success for you. All right, step number one is to plan. Take a look at the upcoming week. What do you have scheduled? What events are scheduled? Having an understanding of what is coming up in the week will help determine what meals and what days need to be prepared for. I like to think of it this way, plan for the unexpected. The more you have a game plan in action or have food prepared for you, the less likely you are to find temptations in eating out of your nutrition goals. Step number two, develop. Now that we have a good understanding of what days and meals need to be prepared for, we can start to develop a menu and a corresponding grocery list for those meals. Stick to the basics, especially if you're new to meal prepping. Don't overwhelm yourself by trying to make these ambitious, over-the-top menu items. Go back to the basics. Go back to things that are familiar to you. This will make the process so much more enjoyable. Now that you have the menu items down for the meals you need to make, make a grocery list for those particular items. When you head to the grocery store, this will give you a sense of structure and the backbone for what you need to get. Step number three is to shop. Now that you have your menu and grocery list in hand, head to the grocery store. Make sure to stick to your grocery list and only buy what's on that list. Next, aim for whole foods. Depending on how soon or how often you're going to be eating the food items, you can buy fresh or frozen. Next, stick to essentials or stock up on essentials. Now this could be seasonings, spices, rices, potatoes, quinoa, things that are going to have a longer shelf life that can easily be mixed and matched with other menu items. You can always refer back to our grocery haul article to find the best practices with grocery shopping. Step number four is to schedule. Now that you have all the necessary ingredients to make your meals, set some time aside to prepare these meals. We have two options for you. You can do the Sunday night ritual, which is taking one day a week or maybe two to prep all your labor intensive meals. This could be your roasted vegetables or your meats. The other step is to do the nightly ritual or the daily ritual. This can be prepping things the morning of, the night before, such as your yogurts, your fruit, your crackers and cheese, things that are a little bit more simpler to prep. But if you are going to do the Sunday night ritual or either one of those, for example, set some time aside, at least give yourself two hours and have fun with the process. The final and fifth step is to prep. Now that we've selected one of those Sunday rituals, or the daily ritual prepping method, we can start to actually prep the food. It's important to have good storage containers on hand. These are some of my favorite ones. They have three storage containers, that way you can separate food if you need to. But it's definitely important to have those on hand, that way depending on which strategy and approach you're using, you can store your food safely and effectively. Once you have everything prepped and cooked, store it in the refrigerator, that way you can easily grab and go as you need, or store it in the freezer for later use. There you have it, our five simple steps towards meal prepping. Remember, meal prepping is supposed to be an effective and efficient strategy to use when reaching your nutrition goals. It puts you in complete control over your dietary choices and ultimately allows you to prepare healthy food options and have these food options available whenever you need them. If you like this video and found it helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. That way we can continue to provide videos for you.